morning. My name is Sophia Shikarchi. I'm honored to be speaking before you today. I would like to start off by thanking my teachers and classmates for supporting me throughout everything and anything. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here today or be who I am. They encourage and motivate me to try my hardest. Although we are all looking forward to high school and to starting the next chapter of our lives, it is also sad to leave behind middle school, which has been our home for the past three years. Seven years ago, I didn't only start off as a nervous second grader here at Lincoln School, but that day I became a Lincoln girl. Being a Lincoln girl is defined by more than just your kill. It is defined by something that we all have in common, our drive for success and our leadership skills. That day, each and every one of my classmates welcomed me with open arms and made me feel like a part of the class. Each year, our class takes in new students and our friendships continue to grow. In the fall, the class of 2019 welcomed more girls and said goodbye to some. It is truly sad to think our class will never be made up of these 26 again. Although we have had our ups and downs, we have always been there for each other when we needed to be. Those of you that are familiar with the class of 2019 know that we are all very opinionated young women. We've shown us through many things, one of them being how hard it was for us to finally come to a decision about what our commencement song would be. I will never forget the times when we as a class bonded and created memories to last a lifetime. Whether we were walking through the streets of New York City or climbing up a giant ladder on Thompson Island, we were working together and supporting one another. I used to think that going to high school would be scary. But with my friends and everything my teachers have taught me, all I feel now is excited for the opportunities ahead. The amount of opportunities I am given here at Lincoln School is unbelievable. I am able to excel in the classroom as well as on the field. In classes, I feel comfortable and am never afraid to ask questions. On the field hockey and lacrosse fields, I am able to put the leadership skills that Lincoln has taught me to good use and have great bonds with my incredible teammates. Being a part of the team means a lot to me and I really enjoy helping and learning with my friends by myself. Although it has not always been easy, we could all agree that we could have never gotten through our eighth grade year without our friends and advisors. My advisor, Ms. Joe, has always been there to help me out. Whether she was teaching me the different types of commas in English class or reassuring me after I wasn't sure if I did in the test, I am forever grateful for her. Also, I must say I am forever grateful for my classmates. They always know how to cheer me up when I'm down, and I could not imagine these years without them. Over the years, my, my fellow classmates and I have laughed, studied, argued, and learned together. But now we have come to the end of our middle school experience. We have grown closer than just a group of girls. Some are now like family. Looking back on years past, we should remember fondness and smiles. I believe that these past three years have been a journey and I will take the many memories and experiences from middle school with me wherever I go. I know we are all ready to enter high school this fall, even if it means we may not all be experiencing it together. We have moved from being those shy and scared sixth graders to becoming sophisticated and confident seventh graders who are prepared to take over for the graduating eighth graders. And now, here we stand. Our goal is over as eighth grade, so now it is up to the next class to step into our shoes and take over. To you guys, good luck. And to my classmates, the future is truly in our hands. So let's make the most of it.